Hello everybody and welcome to Crisscross Applesauce. My name is Miss Diane and I love to read and as a result I have a library full of books and many of these books are for boys and girls just like you. So I have decided to share these books with you and today I've chosen a really really good book which I hope you're going to love and it's called Aunt Amelia by Rebecca Cobb. Now, I suggest you find your cozy spot and do crisscross applesauce and we can read this book together. Okay, let's begin. We were in a bad mood. Aunt Amelia was coming to look after us. We didn't know who Aunt Amelia was and we didn't want looking after. Oh dear, they don't look very happy at all. Now, Aunt Amelia is going to come to their house. And Dad said we had met her once when we were tiny. And Mom said we had to be good. And Aunt Amelia arrives with her big hat and her big, big suitcase. Mom and Dad left a list of instructions. Thank you, said Aunt Amelia. I'm sure these will be very useful. We started on the list straight away. It said, please tell the children to be careful if you go to the park. Don't let them go near the edge of the pond or get themselves too dirty. Now they did go to the pond, but Aunt Amelia had them swinging from the trees and they did go near the pond. They went inside and they rode on Aunt Amelia's back and they got ever so dirty. Oh dear, oh dear. They can have an ice cream, but just one. They already have plenty of toys and don't let them pester you for sweets. Now, Aunt Amelia did buy them an ice cream, but it was a very, very big ice cream. And she also bought them lots and lots of toys and sweets. The children will need some quiet time so they don't get over excited. <gasps> Where do you think Aunt Amelia brought them for a quiet time? She brought them to the fun fair for a quiet time. I don't think they got a lot of quiet time there. Make sure that they help with keeping the house clean and tidy and neat. Oh dear, that does not look like a clean, neat, tidy house. But they look like they're having lots of fun. For dinner, they can choose what to have as long as it is something sensible. <gasps> Wait till you see what they chose. They chose ice cream and cake and cookies and juice and all things that are sweet. Ah, oh, nothing there is sensible. They are allowed one story before bedtime, but absolutely no television. And don't let them stay up too late. Oh, Aunt Amelia read them many, many books and they did get some television and they stayed up very very late. Oh, their mommy and daddy will not be happy if they know this. The next day, mom and dad were coming home. So we got the house ready for them. So they cleaned, they mopped, they scrubbed, and they ducked, and they put all those books away. So the house was nice and clean when mommy and daddy came home. I hope they've been good, asked mom. Good as gold, said Aunt Amelia. Were the instructions helpful? asked Dad. Very, said Aunt Amelia. Mom and Dad asked if we would like Aunt Amelia to come and look after us again sometime. Yes, please, we said. And perhaps you could write another list. <laughs> because they had so much fun with Aunt Amelia, they wanted to come back again to take care of them. Now, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did. And I look forward to seeing you all again. Bye-bye for now.